Blue Beetle is the newest movie of the DC Extended Universe following The Flash, and it is the second to last movie of this universe right next to Aquaman 2 until James Gunn's eventual takeover. Stuck with an unknown valuable weapon, Jaime Reyes goes from college graduate to superhero overnight. But those responsible for the weapon's existence in the modern world gun for Jaime and his family. When the first trailer dropped for Blue Beetle, what went through my mind was, okay, who is this character? Why should I care? Clearly they don't because they're releasing it in the middle of August. And also DC is still in this in-between period where they're not totally sure where they're going next with the universe. Luckily though, I was pleasantly surprised by Blue Beetle. This is absolutely one of the better movies of the DCEU. I can point out the movie's surprising amount of emotion, energetic action, and improved CGI, but what makes this film feel unique is its family circle. The Reyes family is the heartbeat of Blue Beetle, and not only do the actors provide lively performances, but the characters are well written. Damien Alcazar plays the father of this family, who is warm and loving, whereas the mother is a little more of a hard ass, but that's what makes his family feel real. That's how parenting styles are in the real world. From top to bottom, they nailed the family aspect, and the love this family shared on screen flowed throughout my body. George Lopez is also part of the family in this movie. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen George Lopez in a bigger film. I think the last one might have been Balls of Fury all the way back in the 2000s. Dang, where have you been, George? He's without a doubt a show stealer. He always has the right thing to say, but isn't afraid to speak his mind, and that's where some of the best humor stems from. As for Zolo Maraduena, I've never seen him in Cobra Kai because I've never watched that show, and I'm sure most of you know him for that role, but as Blue Beetle, I thought he was really good. He plays that relatable, young, everyday graduate who isn't sure what his purpose is yet in the world, and that stuck with me because the same goes for a lot of people my age, including myself. I'm only 25 years old. I still have a lot of life to live, and I'm not sure where I'm going to end up in 10 years. I just hope that I can make enough money to support a family one day, and clearly that goes for this character in Blue Beetle, as well as his family. They're sort of in this in-between stage where they're losing everything, and they have no money. So to see a 20-something-year-old go from rags to a protector of his family was really inspiring. What about the movie CGI? I know people complained when that initial trailer dropped, but honestly, I think it's pretty good. It looks mostly smooth. I don't have too many complaints about the movie CGI, except for maybe some of the shots of the city from afar. That's about it. The suit itself looked really cool. I don't have any issues with the CGI. If anything, it's nitpicks. I feel like a lot of people are iffy about it just because of the CGI from The Flash. I like the action sequences. I didn't mind the romance, although I don't think it was a necessity in this story. I never understood why in superhero films, whenever there is a male or female co-lead. There always has to be a romance brewing between the two. That's not always the case, but like nine times out of 10, there is a romance or something sparking between the two characters. Why that has to be the case almost every single time, I have no idea. Why can't the two male and female leads just be friends for once. In Blue Beetle, villain-wise, it's mad. They do something great with one villain towards the end, but the other never breaks through that mad barrier. The antagonist's motivation is jealousy-related. It has nothing to do with Blue Beetle, and yet this person is so evil for no reason. I don't know why, but there are so many times where this person just wants to kill Blue Beetle and his family. But why? What is the reasoning behind wanting to kill these people so bad and innocent people they are? Off the top of my head, the only other complaint I have with Blue Beetle is when I saw the movie last night, I was a little tired and I checked my phone more times than I would have liked. The film is over two hours long, so if you're tired, it might go by a little slower, but if you have all the energy in the world, this movie is fast paced for sure. Just don't see the movie tired like I did. Well, all I have left to say is that I hope we see more of Blue Beetle in the DCU or DC Extended Universe, whatever it's called now. When the heck is James Gunn taking over this thing? It's taking forever for them to figure out what they're doing next, but... I hope we see Blue Beetle again because this movie was very enjoyable. And I'm giving Blue Beetle a 7 out of 10.
So I guess all we have left from the DCEU is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, although I'm not sure if it's still coming out this December because there have not been any trailers yet. So is it coming out? Who knows? Anyway, for those of you who have seen Blue Beetle like myself, what did you think about it? Do you think it's one of the better DCEU movies, or are you just happy that they're finally moving on the James Gunn in the next couple of years? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, as always, if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.